Heat is one of those survival games that deals largely with in-game money, so not just resources, but also in-game cash. So what I want to do today is check out a new feature that the developers added, which is banking and interest. So I'm not going to bring the pup into town with me today, just in case things go wrong with the NPCs in town, but as you can see, it is just dawning daytime. So I've got 10 stacks of 1,000 in my inventory that I got from my tobacco harvest, and I want to go check out how long it's going to take to make some money off of interest, as well as what winter is like when you're out and about traveling. Keep in mind, I have 70 points in resistance, which means that's temperature resistance. Without that, I'm pretty sure I would be freezing. But anyway, let me get my horse. Isn't it so cool how the snow piles up on them? Add to party and mount and away we go. So we're going to be headed to the right here. We're going to go into Tombstone which is where I would like to bank. We could try going into Washington, D.C., but it's pretty busy there, and uh, my graphics card doesn't really like it. So we're going to head off this way. And yeah, as I said earlier, Heat is one of those games where you deal a lot with money. So there's a shipping bin where you can put all of your harvested resources and send away to some unknown location. Um, and once those get back, you will get a stack of money in return. You can also buy things from the shipping catalog, so that's pretty cool. Let me make sure I'm still going the right way. How far do we have to go? All right, so just crossroads, then left, then straight down. So that's pretty easy. And as I said, this is winter. Um, it is almost spring, so it's February 20th, so we only have maybe like half an in-game day or half a real-life day left of this craziness before we can get back to springtime and farming again. One of my favorite things to do in this game is farm, so I'm kind of missing that during the winter. So I've been a little less active in heat, but uh, still is pretty to see the change of seasons and how it impacts the game. So far it looks like my coldometer isn't flashing too much over there on the bottom right hand side of the screen, so I'm not terribly worried about losing any health right now, but as I said, I have high resistance. Um, a quick tip if you need it is to dress warmly if you can, and also carry a torch with you. So if you take your torch out, you will start to warm up. Get close to a campfire. There is a buff you get if you are in a house that prevents... Um, decaying HP due to cold, or at least it's supposed to. Here we are riding into Tombstone. I think what I need to find is the bank here. Um, I actually think I see it. It's the one with the tallest sign. I did have to turn my graphics down. Oh, NPCs walking all over the place. Um, I did have to turn my graphics down because uh, this server has a ton of building on it and the RAM of the server is being eaten by all of these buildings. So anyway, horses at the hitching post and in we go. Let's see how this interest system works. Hopefully this guy doesn't mind if I cut in line. Jordan, why has he got a, a dizzy? Has someone been feeding this man alcohol? See that blue bar? I think that means that someone's been giving him alcohol anyway. Oops. Mr. Banker, how do we, uh, how do we deposit our money? I'm very curious. Do I get in trouble if I come in here? Bank teller Brad. Ah, here we go. Okay. Looks like someone's been giving him alcohol too. Um, so we have zero in our savings account. We're going to account. We're going to deposit 10,000. And there we go. So, we're going to earn two almost $3 daily. So, we'll just we'll just leave it in there. So, that's I assume in-game day. If that's in-game day, that's still really not that much, but at least we have the functionality to do that. So, oh, that's cool. Huh, they have little pictures and paintings, and there's the heat map, kind of stylized version of the heat map. This game really- oh, hello. There's just NPCs everywhere, man. No wonder it's laggy in this town. Um, but anyway, now that we've figured that out, 
We are almost ready for springtime. It is, let's see, February 20th. So we still have a little bit of time left before spring. So a few days, so $3 a day, so 10 days, 30 bucks. I mean, that's not a lot in the grand scope of things considering that something like this double iron door costs $2,000. So interest is really cool and I'd imagine once you're able to save up a ton of money, you know, you would end up getting quite a bit of interest. What is going on here? Let's, let's go check this out. We've got a man in a sombrero. We've got a woman in a wedding dress. What is going on here? This is quite the party. Oh my goodness. All of these NPCs have blue bars. What does this mean? Barkeep Chris, and he's like legendary or something. Oops. What does Barkeep Chris have for us? He has empty bottles, but he has no drinks. So, oh, and he even says good to see you in the chat. Oh, this is cool. Check him out. Oh, this is so neat. And then we've got Karen and we've got a nice heater in here. Can we turn it on? Oh, it's already on. So we're we're warm. See how I have the buff in the right hand side of the screen? It says I'm warm in here. Uh, we can't play cards. I guess the I don't know what the NPCs are doing. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Um, but it would be wait chat. Hello. <gasps> wait. We can. This is bizarre. I don't remember this. Is this new? Can I chat to you, Elizabeth? Hello. Howdy. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that's something I didn't know we could do. Uh, now, can we get out of here? Oof. Let me out. Okay. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and ride back to our, uh, our house. So that's a, a look at the bank. Um, actually, let's take a look at the general store. Hello, horse. There we go. General Siege? Is this a gunsmith? Gun shop? I think it is. I thought this was a general store. So they did add merchants. What you looking at? General Siege Clerk Cameron. Um, they added merchants so you can buy different things for merchants that you can't buy from the shipping catalog. So like you can buy artillery ammo, you can buy ooh, iron sledgehammer and steel crowbar. Or we could blow 46,000 on an iron field cannon. That looks like that would be fun to test out. I'm just happy to see you. Welcome to General Siege. You know it would be really cool if one day we could program our own MP- Oh! Saddle up. Stable tack and feed. Is this, a, is this a tack shop? Can I buy special animal things here? Check out all of this horse stuff. Let's see. Hello, Susan. Oh, the server's about to save. Hold on. All right, so the server saved. Basically, we've got large saddles. So this is for bison and bear. Yes, you can ride bison and bear in this. Uh, medium saddles for horse and donkey. We've got saddlebags in here and also watering troughs and feed troughs. So she doesn't really have anything that special. But uh, it's just cool that now we have merchants who sell things that are not in the shipping catalog. What's over here? Independent gun stock. Okay. Can I buy a better gun than what I have now? <laughs> Did you see how he wheeled around? That was kind of funny. Break action, double barrel shotgun, break action, revolver, lever action, lever action, shotgun, um, iron knife. Actually, I do need an iron knife, but I didn't bring, did I bring enough money? I did, we'll buy one. Buy and sell. Okay, so now we have a knife to skin with. That would have come in handy. I killed a cougar earlier. Um, okay, well, thank you. What's your name? Hello? Thank you, Gunstock Clerk Neil. That was, that was a good buy. I'm actually surprised I find it. I find it. I found something I needed. This is cool. Imagine if we could get this thing in the future. It looks like a hay wagon, maybe. We've got our livery yard over here. So there are some really cool things in town that I would love to have to be able to uh, build with. But anyway, it's time to head back home. So that was just a... Wait, what's this? Sheriff. Ooh. 
Oh, I don't want to go in there because that'll mess with Alex's position. We have a sheriff on the server. His name is Alex. And uh, if I sit in his seat, I will take the position and I don't want to do that. Um, so anyway, let's get back on the road and head home. Not going to go by that fort because it is set to hostile, which means if there are NPCs in there and if I trespass, I will get attacked by NPCs. I'm going to have to make a server rule where you can't block public roads um, with a hostile. The public road is right next to it, so when you go on the public road, the overlap of the building and the road turns you hostile, so that's not cool. Looks like somebody else is building another structure up there so yeah we're getting we're getting little settlements and homesteads popping up all over the place here so anyway that was just a really quick look at the merchants and the bank that was added in one of the more recent updates to heat i'm really curious to see what other things that they have planned for this game uh technically it's out of early access so i yeah i don't know what if there even is a roadmap or what else is planning on being added. I'm really hoping that they will add animal breeding. Uh, they already have male and female animal versions. Um, they just don't have, let's see if we can sneak across here without getting hit by the train. <laughs> they just don't have the option to actually breed animals so that you can truly become a rancher and um, produce extra animals. You can go out and tame them right now so that's okay, you can tame them, bring them back, um, sell them at your shipping bin if you want. But yeah, I would love to see animal breeding set up in this game. So anyway, let me know what other heat videos you want me to show you. Um, or if you want me to do any guides or tutorials on anything. Uh, this part of the heat series is probably winding down and the rest of it's all just going to be me enjoying playing on the server with everybody else who's on here. If you are more curious about the server and you want to join or just talk about heat in general, feel free to join my discord which will be linked in the description box down below. You can join it even if you don't want to join the heat server um, just to kind of see what other stuff I'm doing. But at this point, I've been through all the seasons. Uh, we've gone over in past um, episodes of this playlist what it's like to start the game of Heat. Um, the only other videos that I really have left on my radar to do would be... Well, first of all, let me make sure I don't go anywhere near these bandits. Um, other videos I have left on my radar are just like end game building and maybe hunting, although I already did a video on hunting earlier in the playlist. Um, as well as testing different weapons. But beyond that, I think that might be it. My character's getting thirsty. So, as I said, let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you would want me to cover. There is quite a bit of depth to this game. Um, like, as you can see, Colt is talking in chat about how do you give NPCs gifts. You can actually collect diamonds and gems, and you can, I guess, like what we saw with the chatting function to the NPCs, you can chat with them and give them a gift. And I believe if you give an NPC a $10,000 gift, they will then marry you. Um, so yeah, game has interesting stuff like that that you don't really see in many other survival games. So yeah, Goshen says the 10K present, you hold it in your hand and use it. I think uh, there's a diamond that's like 10,000 that you can give to them and they will marry you. So yes, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you something to think about as far as just survival games being a little bit different, seeing something a little bit different from the norm. So as always, guys, links to my socials are in the description box down below. I hope you all are enjoying your games, particularly if you are joining Heat. Don't forget to check out my Discord if you want to join the server. And I will see you all in the next video.